and welcome back to Bust Off Pigeon with Kelsey and Sarah. Today we're making gingerbread cookies. First step, preheat your oven to 350 degrees and also boil some water. <coughs> Next step, we're going to cream together a quarter cup of butter and half a cup of brown sugar in our mixing bowl. <gasps> Mixy mix. Red patch sugar is vegan, everyone. In case you're wondering, in case you're, um, you know, worried about eating sugar that's not vegan. I know some people don't really mind, and then I'll, other people are really picky. So sometimes sugar isn't vegan because of the process to refine sugar. A lot of the time they use bone char. Um, but also sometimes they don't. Um, so like an, like a big company like Rogers, um, sometimes they process their sugar with bone char and sometimes they don't. So it's like you don't ever really know what kind of sugar you're getting when you're buying it though, if it's been processed with bone char or not. Anyways, so Red Pack, their brand, they don't use bone char in their refining process. Same with the brand Wholesome. Uh, they're also another good brand as well. Wholesome you can find at um, Bilo. I know they have it and like Whole Foods has it. Stuff like that. Red Pack though. Red Pack is just at Walmart. And we live really close to Walmart. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Now we are going to be making a flax egg. So to make our flax egg, we're gonna use one tablespoon of flaxseed meal and three tablespoons of that boiling water we were talking about earlier. And then we're gonna mix it together and then we're gonna leave it for one minute. And you'll see it will start to get gloopy. It's really weird. So now, that our flaxseed egg is ready, we're adding this into this big bowl. Look, it's gloopy, see, did you see? Yeah, so. Okay. So we're adding the flaxseed in, and we're also adding in, we're adding in half a teaspoon of vanilla. There's a lot of that. <laughs> What's it called? Oh my God. I did it too. I've been jinxed. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. Don't tell my mom I <laughs> And then a third of a cup of fancy molasses. Because we fancy. What is molasses? Okay, so I poured the molasses into this measuring cup and now I'm pouring it in the bowl. Oh, look at her, she's fancy. <laughs> We're making fancy gingerbread man. <laughs> now we mix it? Yes, we do. I never get to mix. Do I? I feel like I've never mixed on Best Shop Kitchen before. Have I? <laughs> I have no idea. It's been so long. Please forgive us, our devoted fans. <laughs> All right, now it's time to add our dry ingredients to the wet. So for that, we're gonna do two cups of flour, about two teaspoons of cinnamon, two teaspoons of ginger, and then like a teaspoon of clove and allspice or um, pumpkin pie spice if you're us and it's a pandemic. Still, it's still, still a, a pandemic. pandemic. Ugh. Speaking of milk, we're going to add a splash of non-dairy milk. Mm. Depending on the water content of the vegan butter you use can affect how dry or crumbly it is. Mm. So clearly ours has a bit lower uh, of a water content, so it's a little bit crumbly. So if it's crumbly, you can just add a little bit of milk. All right, luckily we have soy milk. 
I think it's regular soy milk too. I don't think we're on a diet anymore. that louder. I forgot the baking soda. <laughs> okay, we have our dough. Gingerbread dough is weird, isn't it? Anyway, side note. So we're gonna roll it out on a floured surface with a rolling pin. Have they seen our rolling pin yet? I don't know. We have a rolling pin. Remember we were just using a thermos or something? We have a rolling pin. This is vintage. This is from like my great, 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 great grandmother. I don't know how many greats, but it's old and it's creaky and it, it's stuck on something right now. Now we're going to put our cookies. This isn't all of them, we still have more. Anyway, we're gonna put our cookies into the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. We're probably gonna check them at like eight minutes. Even though I turned our oven down a little. Did you turn her up? No, you didn't. No. Okay. water in an episode of Bust Out Kitchen, like in, a, in our kettle. This is our kettle. A lot of the time, this screw comes loose. It's a pain to try and screw it back in because this is in the way. You know what I mean? You're welcome for doing my nails. And this lovely spring color. I know, I know. I also cut them. So they're not really long and I need to call Sarah over for everything because I can't do anything with short nails apparently. Oh my god, whistle, whistle! Can you see the steam everyone? I think you can. Now you can. Do you think it's ready? Oh, Sarah's getting a facial. I think it's ready. I think it's ready. Don't touch that burner, everyone. It's hot. Okay. Why not? Cheater, bam! I Shout out to Kathy Daniels! <laughs> Kathy Daniels, Kathy Daniels, Kathy Daniels. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kathy Daniels sent us a recipe. 
recipe for a pie Ooh. that we will make. We promise. We will make it. We're just veganizing it. Yeah, in these pandemic times, be nice to customer service people. You yeah. Know? Like if you're going to a cafe or a restaurant, those people don't really want to get COVID. So respect them. Be nice to them because they're working. If you go anywhere where there's customer service, just be nice to people. It's all we want. Word. Have we gotten better or worse at doing this stuff, Kitchen? Well, we haven't filmed in a... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so does that answer your question? Better? Worse. <laughs> does anyone here watch the marvelous Mrs. Maisel? We love Midge. We love Midge. And we love Lenny. Yeah. And we love Benjamin. And we love the new guy. Benjamin. Benjamin. Zachary yeah. Levi. We don't really love Joel. No. Obviously. He's just meh. But Benjamin. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs>